Technician is the student newspaper of North Carolina State University. Its first edition was published in 1920, and it has been published continuously since that date, becoming a daily paper in fall 1988. Since 2016, the newspaper has been published on Mondays and Thursdays, with stories also published online throughout the week at http www.technicianonline.com. The newspaper is funded by in-paper and online advertising and is a part of NC State Student Media. NC State Student Media Board of Directors oversees NC State Student Media, which includes Technician, other student-led publications, and a college radio station, WKNC-FM. Notable alumni Roy H. Park, media mogul, founder of broadcasting and newspaper chain Park Communications Inc. William C. Friday, 1941, American educator and leader of the University of North Carolina system from 1956 to 86. Chris Hondros, photographer and 2003 finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Richard Curtis 1972, a founder and managing editor of graphics and photography for USA Today Joseph Gallarno 1989, chief operating officer for Newsweek Controversies Like many student newspapers, Technician has seen its share of controversies, including in 1990, the newspaper ran an editorial calling for the dismissal of embattled head basketball coach Jim Valvano. Valvano, a popular figure who led the team to the 1983 national championship, had come under fire for ethical and regulatory lapses in handling the basketball program. The editorial was resented as a publicity stunt. Valvano ultimately left the university under fire. On September 3, 1992, a conservative opinion columnist harshly criticized African American students' demands for a black cultural center at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. This column, paired with a front page article with the headline, Black Students Vent Rage in Dining Hall, a report on a NC State student government meeting to get feedback from African American students on campus in a follow up to recent events in Chapel Hill resulted in widespread theft of the edition it is distributed free. Students also burned copies of the technician in the brickyard in protest. The aftermath led to the creation of the university's African-American interest publication, Nubian Message. In 1992, Owen S. Good explained that cheerleading is not a sport. In 1993, the men's basketball team lost to Campbell University for the first time since the 1940s. A story on the defeat ran under the headline, Worst Loss Since Hitler, and was castigated for its insensitivity. Following disastrous Wolfpack basketball seasons in 1995 and 1996, Technician published staff editorials asking for the resignation or firing of coach Les Robinson. The editorials were timed to run on the eve of the ACC tournament play in game for last place teams, which had become known throughout the conference as the Les Robinson Invitational. Robinson resigned following his team's loss at the tournament. Asked if he had any regrets at his farewell press conference, Robinson said, Only that the school paper called me a loser. After new leadership took the helm at the paper in spring 1997, several technician editors and reporters were fired without just cause and escorted from the newspaper's offices by university public safety officers. Two months later, three of the fired editors used their inside knowledge of the production process to hijack the last edition of the paper for the school year, secretly inserting a full-column editorial criticizing the new editor-in-chief for using her power over personnel matters to settle personal scores and calling on university administrators to intervene. All 18,000 copies of the paper were distributed on campus the next morning containing the critical editorial, and the new student management was left unable to retract it until the resumption of publication the following semester. 
Technicians Insulted Editor-in-Chief filed a report with Public Safety, which investigated the matter as a larceny. Despite dusting for fingerprints and questioning the former employees, investigators were unable to find any evidence against the suspected perpetrators and no charges were filed. On August 29, 2005, a crowd of approximately 200 Greek Life and African American Student Advisory Council representatives gathered on Harris Field to protest a technician article entitled, Sarostitutes Are Weak and Wounded. Students complained the article was an unfair representation of women's activities in Greek life. While the event received a lot of media attention, it was quickly overshadowed by Hurricane Katrina's destruction on the Gulf Coast. In January 2006, Technician ran an article by student contributor Jeff Gaither, stating that drunk driving was at times unavoidable and giving tips on how to avoid getting caught. The author subsequently wrote a retraction of the article. In February 2014, Editor-in-Chief Sam DeGravi discontinued the traditional Daily Tar Hell satire newspaper while citing racist, sexist, and homophobic humor of past editions as his motivation for halting the ever-popular publication. Several students and alumni were unhappy with the decision and consequently sent a plethora of letters to the editor to voice their frustration. Many argued that the hateful humor was not prevalent in recent years and the satire was all in good taste while others were upset to see one of the few long-standing traditions of the university be tampered with. Very few wrote letters in support of the decision to discontinue the satire edition. DeGravi published a letter from the editor titled, One Week in Daily Tar Hell, in which he condescendingly responded to his readers' criticism. Topic Technician Editors in Chief 1919 1920 Volume 1 Marion Francis 1920 1921 Volume 2 J. H. Lane 1921 1922 Volume 3 E. C. Tatum 1922 1923 Volume 4 Alvin M. Fountain 1923 1924 Volume 4 W. S. Morris 1924 1925 Volume 5 S. R. Wallace 1925 1926 Volume 6 E. G. Moore 1926 1927 Volume 7 R. R. Fountain 1927 1928 Volume 8 W. L. Roberts 1928-1929 Vol. 9A Lawrence Idolet 1929-1930 Vol. 10A L. Weaver 1930-1931 Vol. 11 Roy H. Park 1931-1932 Vol. 12 Lewis H. Wilson 1932-1933 Vol. 13 H. A. McClung Jr. 1933-1934 Vol. 14 E. J. Lassen 1934-1935 Vol. 15 Eugene S. Knight 1935-1936 Vol. 16 Robert B. Knox Jr. 1936-1937 Vol. 17 R. Hall Morrison Jr. 1937-1938 Vol. 18 Dick McPhail 1938-1939 Vol. 19 Stephen Saylor 1939-1940 Vol. 20 E. P. Davidson 1940-1941 Vol. 21 Henry B. Rowe 1941-1942 Vol. 22 Carl Sickeret 1942-1943 Vol. 23 Don Barksdale 1943-1944 Vol. 24 Gordon West 1944-1945 Vol. 25 Walter W. Harper 1945-1946 Vol. 26 Bobby Wooten 1946-1945 1947 Vol. 27 Jack Fizzler 1947-1948 Vol. 28 Dick Fowler 1948-1949 Vol. 29 Avery Brock 1949-1950 Vol. 30 Joe Hancock 1950-1951 Vol. 31 Bill Haas 1951-1952 Vol. 32 Paul Fott 1952-1953 Vol. 33 Bob Horn 
Osborne 1953-1954 Vol. 34 George Aubenshine 1954-1955 Vol. 35 John Parker 1955-1956 Vol. 36 L.C. Draw in 1956-1957 Vol. 37 Terry Lathrop 1957-1958 Vol. 38 Jim Moore 1958-1959 Vol. 39 Ray Lathrop 1959-1960 Vol. 40 Jim Moore 1960-1961 Vol. 41 J. Brain 1961-1962 Vol. 42 Mike Lee 1962-1963 Vol. 43 Mike Lee 1963-1964 Vol. 44 Grant Blair and Alan Lennon 1964-1965 Vol. 45 Cora Kemp 1965-1966 Vol. 46 Bill Fishburne and Bob Holmes 1966-1967 Vol. 47 Jim Keir 1967-1968 Vol. 48 Bob Harris 1968-1968 1969 Vol. 49 Pete Berkheimer 1969-1970 Vol. 50 George Panton 1970-1971 Vol. 51 Jack Cazort 1971-1972 Vol. 52 Richard Curtis 1972-1973 Vol. 53 John N. Walston 1973-1974 Vol. 54 Beverly Privet 1974-1970 75 Vol. 55 Bob Estes 1975-1976 Vol. 56 Kevin Fisher 1876-1977 Vol. 57 Howard Barnett 1977-1978 Vol. 58 Lynn Griffin 1978-1979 Vol. 59 David Pendered 1979-1980 Vol. 60 John Flesher 1980-1981 Vol. 61 Andrea Cole 1981-1982 Vol. 62 Tucker Johnson 1982-1983 Vol. 63 Tom Alter 1983-1984 Vol. 64 Jeffrey Bender 1984-1985 Vol. 65 Jeffrey Bender 1985-1986 Vol. 66 Barry Bowden 1986-1987 Vol. 67 John Austin 1987 1988 Vol. 68 Joseph Gallarno 1988 1989 Vol. 69 Michael Hughes 1989 1990 Vol. 70 Dwan June Editor 1990 1991 Vol. 71 Wade Babcock 1991 1992 Vol. 72 William Holmes 1992 1993 Vol. 73 Joe Johnson 1993 1994 Vol. 74 Mark Toshsack 1994-1995 Vol. 75 Colin B. Botright 1995-1996 Vol. 76 Ron Bacho and Jean Lorscheider 1996-1997 Vol. 77 Chris Baisden 1997-1998 Vol. 78 Terry H. Bennett 1998-1999 Vol. 79 Philip Reese, Paper Goes from Tri-Weekly Monday, Wednesday, Friday Publication to Four Times a Week Monday to Thursday 1999-2000 Vol. 80 Ebony Polite 2000-2001 Vol. 81 Jack Daly and Mark McLaurin, Paper Increases Publication to a Daily Paper Monday through Friday 2001-2002 Vol. 82 Mark McLaurin and Jimmy Riles 2002-2003 Vol. 83 Jerry Moore and Matthew Pelland 2003-2004 Vol. 84 Thushan Amarasiriwadina and Kerry Windham 2004-2005 Vol. 85 Matthew Middleton 2005 2006 Vol. 86 Rebecca Heslin, Paper Wins First National Crown Award from the Columbia Scholastic Press Association 2006-2007 Vol. 87 M. Tyler Dukes 2007-2008 Vol. 88 Joshua Harrell 2008-2009 Vol. 89 Saja Hindi 2009-2010 Vol. 90 Ty Johnson, Fall Editor, Lauren Blakely, Kate Sheft and Russell Witham, Spring Co-Ed 
Editors 2010-2011 Vol. 91 Amanda Wilkins 2011-2012 Vol. 92 Laura Wilkinson 2012-2013 Vol. 93 Mark Herring 2013-2014 Vol. 94 Sam DeGravi 2014-2015 Vol. 95 Ravi K. Chitila, Paper reverts to publishing four days a week Monday through Thursday 2015-2016 Vol. 96 Caitlin Montgomery, First Female Editor and Managing Editor Pair 2016-2017 Vol. 97 Rachel Tanner Smith, Paper goes down to two print publications per week Monday and Thursday and focuses heavily on web-first publishing, modifies physical paper format from broadsheet to modified tabloid 2017-2018 Vol. 98 Jonathan T. Carter 2018-2019 Vol. 99 Jonathan T. Carter, paper production reduced to one print publication per week Monday.